All right, back in our lockdown 2022 series uh, for at-home training, uh, we're gonna look at sp speed control and putting, which is by far the most important aspect, uh, I believe, in putting. Um, especially, I think most of us can attest uh, playing our greens. Uh, speed control is, is paramount to, to becoming a very good putter, not only to make putts, but also avoid three putting. So we're gonna look at a couple uh, a couple drills today, uh, and then also a uh, good exercise to kind of hone in our stroke. Now, what I see out of most golfers is that they cannot control the speed that the putter head is moving. It could be a, a couple different factors uh, involved in that. However, the biggest thing that I see is most golfers will take a, a short backswing and an accelerating forward swing um, to, to try and hit each putt. Now, part of that could be some of the narrative around putting where, you know, it's never up, never in. Uh, you have to accelerate through to the hole. Uh, as much as those uh, analogies uh, may help certain people, I think it hurts more, uh, more golfers. So really what I want to try and create here, and, and we've set this uh, T marker drill up again. Now what we've done is we've created that about a uh, putter grip with the way. Now again, you can choose whatever the length you uh, length you prefer. Now, the biggest thing is that we want to create an equal backstroke to our follow through. Um, for those who are very over accelerating, you're going to find a tendency to want to try to maybe not take it back as far and go um, past the marker. I don't see too many that really deaccelerate, but again, what we really want to do is make sure that we have equal parts backstroke and forward stroke. Now that may have to increase your uh, tempo. You may feel like you have to slow it down. What I want to try to do is just unpack different feels. Now you may find it's easier when uh, it's a shorter distance. When we go a little bit longer, it may be a little bit different. So experiment, try out different, um, uh, different lengths and different tempos. Now once you feel comfortable with that, what we're going to do is we're going to try to control um, our speed. Now if we could do this uh, regularly, that would be great. I think the uh, this is the skill that uh, most people will struggle with with the most. So, first and foremost, uh, again, depending on your space, um, the surface that you have, whether you're just a putting mat, we're going to try and just make sure we're going to hit a, a basic putt to that far tee there. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to do, you know, three putts, and we're just going to try and see if we can create the same stroke that the ball is going to stop next to that far tee. Now, again, like in our other drill, we want to make sure that we know what our tendencies are. Those are two putts there that are, are short of the target, so I may need to increase my length of my stroke or potentially my tempo. Now, the last one was pretty good. So once we get comfortable at, uh, at a given distance, now it's really the time to um, create some random practice uh, or add some variables. So what we'll do here is we'll do uh, a typical Goldilocks drill where we will putt to the far target first. And then what we'll do is we'll putt to the short target. And then we will try and get the, the next ball to the middle target. Now, the tighter that you can get those balls to the target, I believe the better control you have over that putter uh, uh, head in terms of speed. Now that will be uh, a huge skill once we get back out uh, uh, onto our greens. So again, like our previous video, comment below, uh, did you find this hard? Is there a specific distance that you find it is too hard? Is there um, a variation that you found in this? Uh, contact us, let us know, uh, and stay tuned for the next episode.